All right, good morning. I'm about to take off here a little bit. Rest area from the night before. Come on over here, Lily. Indiana, right on 65. It's about it's about 5:40 a.m. right now. So we got about 98 miles to deliver right inside Indianapolis. Right off 465. Come on, let's go over here. Looks like we got a little bit of rain in front of us. What are you doing? Come on this way. Thank you. A little bit of rain in front of us, it's looking like. Some sprinkles on the truck and look on the on the weather map and there's some uh, some pretty good storms moving our way, so. So probably by the time we get into Indy, it'll probably be raining. Just great. <laughs> That's the way it works, right? Now let me walk finish walking. Leia, we'll, uh, we'll get on the road. Alright, so today is, uh, what is today? Wednesday. DOT Blitz, day two. Yesterday we uh, passed by five way stations. We had two red lights. We just had to cross over the scale or no big deal. And the, uh, the other, there was two more that didn't even have the pre-pass thing turned on. <clears throat> and we just cruised right by. Pulled in the scale and we hit the bypass lane. And there was another one right outside of Kentucky. It was uh, it was closed. All right. Looks like we're going to be coming up on one here just shortly in Indiana on 65 North. be hardly nothing it may, it may be something small but you know, just have someone eyeball it and if there's something that needs to be fixed we just get it fixed now and don't have to worry about it down the road you know what I mean I'm gonna try to find someone I don't know if I want If I gotta take it to a Kenworth, then we gotta take it to Kenworth, but I'd, I'd rather not. There's gotta be someone local in town, you know. That can give a fair, a fair rate. It seems like with Kenworth, it just 
there's no this is what it is you know not like I'm gonna sit there and try to haggle the price but Up with the, I, I don't know if it could possibly be. You know, remember they talked before like something was up with. You know, he said to keep an eye on like the springs, the springs, the pins and the bushings. Maybe we get a second opinion on that. But I don't know. It just sounds like maybe possibly like a shock, maybe that's broken. It's not running any different. It's just like just your occasional thump, thump, thump. You know. I know that doesn't help. <laughs> but, which I don't believe is nothing major. But I don't know because every time I you know stop for fuel or at the end of the day. Woo, man. At the end of the day, you know, you know, try to eyeball it and look around, and I just can't see anything. I don't, you know, one, I don't really, I'm not a mechanic, so I'm not really sure if there was something that was broken, you would be able to tell, but, you know, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't want to say I don't know what I'm looking at, but I have a good idea, but I, don't know. I need someone that knows what the hell's going on. So we'll get to get someone to check them out. Maybe there's someone local there in Indy. It may not be anything, no big deal. It may just, you know, <clears throat> it may be something with when they installed the new bumper up front. You know, maybe it's rubbing on something. I, I, I don't know. I doubt it'd be just that easy. You never know. That'd be good stuff. Hopefully we can just get them to check that out. And if it's something that they can fix, and they can fix it. Then we can find us a load. But I wasn't going to get anything until I was <clears throat> done with that shop. So. Or wherever I'm at. Hopefully, whatever shop I get to, it's not one of those. Oh, well, we won't be able to look at you till tomorrow. Of course. So I lose the day. I'd rather lose one day getting something taken care of than lose three days. You know, if something broke and you end up turning. One thing breaks and turns into a major cluster, you know what I mean? Yeah, truck's left lane. down to Indy. Let's see if we can get this thing unloaded. We got we gotta be there between eight and ten. Garmin says I'll be there by right at eight o'clock, but I know that'll probably change. Once I get closer into town, I know the traffic is gonna pick up a little bit, so so if, if we get there between you know eight, eight fifteen. 8.30 at the latest. We're still good. Alright. So we get to go. Door 37.
pallets were standing tall. And actually, they kind of shifted back just a little bit. And then my strap was just kind of just dangling. <laughs> Like, oh, okay. Chill out. And it wasn't even suiting the purpose. set up good. Yeah. We'll just pull all the way up here. Before I get all out of whack here. I guess if you got the room, use it. basically screwed this one up and now it's going to be harder to get straight and cut it hard man yeah this is what happens when you don't don't set yourself up.
in case somebody comes in next to me. Just gonna make it harder for them. Tune, tune, tune. Towing and recovery. He's in there looking for somebody. Look at this real quick. Will he make it? <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Pedal rider and your flat tires. Man. We're here in Indy. Trying to get loaded. Well, we're getting loaded. I ain't got much time to drive. I got three hours and 42 minutes. And this is the kicker. Just got me a good load here. This load uh, was supposed to be picked up this morning. And for whatever reason, you know, it happens to where we didn't pick it up. Or I, I don't know the story. <clears throat> All I know is that they they were offering a pretty good little mon amount of money to pick this load up. And that was just like 16 miles down the road. <clears throat> so we came on over here. We got to get to two stops. Opelousas. Louisiana and New Braunfels, Texas. This is the thing right here. Nine hour or oh, nine hours. Shoot, I wish it was nine hours. <clears throat> nine hundred and thirty-four miles by Friday, nine AM. That's gonna be a good push there. It's Wednesday. Four 20 p.m. Only good thing I got going. I'll be going central time. So I get an hour back. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be a <clears throat> it's gonna be a good one. Like I got like three hours left right now. How long have I been here? been here an hour and 40 minutes I was gonna do an eight hour which I possibly still could do so I do an eight hour I'm trying to think of time so 230 so two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirty I get up and start rolling, then I'll have like five and a half hours. We'll just say five hours. So from 10.30 to about 3 a.m. I drive. Then from 3 a.m. take 10 hour break. So 
uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 1 p.m. Get up and start driving. <clears throat> yeah. It's gonna, this is going to be a push here. I think I can get it done. I can get her done. This will be a challenge. So, why don't you ride along with us? I'll let you know either or after we get loaded and when we're rolling or what we're doing. Truthfully, if I get loaded like in the next half hour, I'm driving. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> 